Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Former Trump staffer slash backstabber makes sick claim about what racist POTUS is secretly doing. Former White House staffer Omarosa Manigault has come under fire recently after she published a tell-all memoir regarding her time working for President Trump. Her accusations regarding the president, chief of staff John Kelly, and White House staffers have been making waves but not for the right reasons. Now, the White House is coming under fire too for the accusations that she made in the book. TMZ reported. Donald Trump is not only a racist, he's trying to start a race war, so says his former White House counselor Omarosa, and she also says lots of people were getting it on in the West Wing. We got the newly minted author Saturday at Reagan National Airport in D.C., and she wasn't mincing words. She thinks Trump's attack on LeBron James is part of a campaign to inflame the country and pit blacks against whites. She hawks her book during the conversation but drops some pretty salacious tidbits. She says there's someone in the White House with the nickname, White House Barbie. She also says people were getting it on at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and even drops a famous name. When the book was officially announced allegations that Omarosa called the president a bigot, racist, and misogynist quickly spread. Additionally, another rumor alleged that Omarosa reportedly accused the president of using racial slurs on the set of The Apprentice when Omarosa was a contestant on the show. Another bizarre accusation was that the president ate a newspaper in the Oval Office. However, once the media began alleging these accusations Omarosa quickly came out and said that she did not witness him say or do any of these things but instead heard it through word of mouth from others. The New York Post reported. Former White House aide Omarosa Manigault Newman called herself complicit in lying to the American people about President Trump's capacity to serve as commander-in-chief as she continued to take swipes at her former boss. I was complicit with this White House deceiving this nation, she said Sunday on NBC's Meet the Press. They continue to deceive this nation by how mentally declined he is, how difficult it is for him to process complex information. How he has not engaged in some of the most important decisions that impact our country. I was complicit and for that I regret," the former Apprentice contestant added. Manigault Newman sat down with anchor Chuck Todd and confirmed that she had heard Trump on tape using the N-word. I have heard the tape, she said, explaining that three different sources she talked to for her new book Unhinged had detailed to her the same story about Trump, using the racial slur during filming of The Apprentice. Manigault Newman said she originally heard about the recording in the fall of 2016, when Trump was running for the White House. The former reality star says she was on a conference call with Katrina Pearson and Jason Miller, both spokespeople for the Trump campaign, as well as Lynn Patton, a Trump Organization employee, who was also a prominent African-American supporter of the GOP candidate. In fact Katrina Pearson, the spokeswoman for the campaign, said oh, he said it, it's true, Manigault Newman said. When Todd suggested Pearson wouldn't back up that claim, Manigault Newman added, is she denying? She knows I have receipts." Manigault Newman explained that she didn't hear the recording until after her book was published, adding she suspected it may be used as an October surprise against Trump and Republicans in advance of this November's midterm elections. Business Insider reported. Manigault Newman also wrote in the book she was offered $15,000 a month contract to sign a non-disclosure agreement after she was fired from the White House last year, which she said she turned down. Manigault Newman also reportedly secretly recorded Trump then used those recordings as leverage while shopping her book. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders released a statement Friday afternoon, in which she said the book is riddled with lies and false accusations. It's sad that a disgruntled former White House employee is trying to profit off these false attacks, and even worse that the media would now give her a platform, after not taking her seriously when she had only positive things to say about the president during her time in the administration, Sanders said. Manigault Newman worked in the White House for nearly a year as an assistant to the president and the director of communications for the Office of Public Liaison. Unhinged, an insider's account of the Trump White House is set to be published by Gallery Books on August 14. After the news was released that Omarosa was publishing a book about her short tenure in the White House the president released a comment shortly thereafter. President Trump was responding to a question by reporter Maggie Haberman of The New York Times regarding Omarosa's memoir that was announced recently when he called Omarosa a lowlife for publishing her book. After Haberman asked the question he laughed, put his hand around his mouth and then called her a lowlife twice. The event they were attending was for bikers as part of a vacation he was taking at the Trump National Golf Club that is located in Bedminster, New Jersey. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click 
like, and subscribe. Thank you.